What's going on everybody? I'm really excited to finally be able to do a video like this. This is something I've wanted to do for a long time. I know the Supreme Arcanine started this uh, trend a while back and it's definitely something that I think is awesome and I wanted to put my own spin on it and see how you guys liked it. So we're just going to jump into it. This is my uh, new possible shinies for the Galar forms and uh, the new Pokemon that were shown on August 7th. So here on the left we have the Galarian Weezing which is uh, gray and this like bright toxic looking green. Uh, as soon as you see a gray or a black shiny, you immediately think, oh, they're going to probably want a white shiny for this. This is kind of something I can see them doing. You have the white, which is just like I said, the, the polar opposite of this gray towards black. And then the purple, which is a callback to Weezing's original form. I think this looks super good. Yes, it does look like Doug Dimodome, but... I think it's a really good shiny. I think that to just white with the even like brighter white uh, skull and crossbones. And then that really nice purple offset on the uh, like mustache and the smog coming out of it is really nice. I also darkened the smoke coming out of it a little bit. I know it's supposed to be like purified uh, toxins or air or something. But I really like this design for it. So for the next one, I went for more of a toxic look instead of trying to go for more of a refined look or something. Because it is still a poison type. It's poison and fairy. Uh, so I'm really playing on the poison here. You have this like deep dark blue green uh, with this really intensified green smog. And again, the dark uh, smoke coming out of it. Really, this was just a play on how it is a, a poison type Pokemon. Uh, and I think it looks really great. So for this next one, I really played up the like gentlemanly look that this Weezing has. I made it like pure gold with this like very soft like kind of yellow white uh like smog coming out the smoke is the same color up top it just like looks like high class very gentlemanly i thought it was a really cool design for this one so for this one i decided to go really hard with the fairy poison look so i thought that the pink perfectly matched the fairy really brings it out because in the original design you could see it doesn't really look fairy at all there's just no, nothing that reminds me of a fairy Pokemon in this design. So it would make sense if the shiny form kind of went a little bit more towards that. The pink is pretty dramatic. I know that. I could see them going with a lighter pink. Um, but I think the pink and purple together really give you that poison and fairy typing. Uh, I stayed with the original color on the, the smoke coming out of the top. It is a little more purified looking because I'm playing on the like pear, uh, fairy pure style there so this is definitely something that i'm a big fan of uh and this is probably the one i would like to see most even though i think it is probably the most unlikely to be the actual shiny form so next up we have the galarian zigzagoon form i love this i think it's so cool this is really simple and still looks like zigzagoon it's a different color scheme so i thought it would be really cool for the shiny to have a completely different color scheme here too so the designs that i went here are pretty different there's not on all of them a whole bunch of inspiration but a more of a complementary uh color scheme going on the blues and the orange play off each other really well and it just stands out and makes it very obvious that this is not the original zigzagoon form where there isn't a lot of differences on the actual body for you to see that there is a difference between the two pokemon for this next one i don't really know why i went with this <laughs> design too much I really liked it. I was messing around with colors. The green just really popped. I liked the yellow tongue. I don't see them doing this at all. It's like a completely weird design, but I think it looks pretty good, and I thought it would be a fun addition. I did do an extra design for the entire uh, Zigzagoon line, so I wanted to add this in here. thought it would be a pretty fun addition. So for this one, I really, really like it a lot. So you have this like gray towards silver on most of the body. For all of the Zigzagoons, I kept the white light because I don't really see them changing that up too much. Uh, I really enjoy this gray. And I like the brown red, like brownish red eyes and tongue. I think it's a really interesting different color. Uh, and I'm definitely a fan of this like gray and brown color scheme on Zigzagoon. I think it looks really clean, the white and gray together. Uh, yeah, I really, really would hope that this is a design that they pick. So for the second to last design, I really went with the complementary colors here again. You have this really nice purple and the yellow offsetting it. I think this looks really great too. This is another one I don't really see them doing. 
But if you look at Gen 6 and 7, which, which are the only Pokemon which they've really chosen what the Shinies look like, there's a lot of color schemes that you wouldn't really expect off the bat. Uh, and this is definitely something really cool. Uh, I like the purple and yellow together. And yeah, I think it works really well. So this last design that I made is my favorite for Zigzagoon. I love the red. I left the eyes just about the same. I lightened them just a little bit. But the red with the white just looks so good. For some reason, the the white even almost takes on this cream look when it's accompanied by the red. Uh, but I did not change the white at all. So this is a completely unchanged white with a with that deep crimson red. I think it looks super good. Um, this is a color that we've seen in Pokemon before. And I don't think it's that much of a stretch for Zigzagoon. I could see them doing the shiny. And it also would be my favorite one for them to do it. So next we have Lanoon. The evolution of Zigzagoon. This is also the Galarian Lanoon. Um... For this one, I went with the blue and orange-yellow theme here. Uh, I have the deeper blue for the bottom of Lanoon's body. And then for the top of Lanoon's body, we have this nice blue that kind of is similar to the one on Zigzagoon, yet it's a little bit deeper. Got the orange eyes and the orange tongue again. I think this design is really nice. Uh, I think that it even suits Lanoon better than it suits Zigzagoon. And I would love to see this one. I really think uh, this is one that they could both do and would be super nice to see. So for the green design on Lanoon, I went a little different here. The green is a little deeper uh, with the dark green body. It has those red accents, which I really think ties it together a lot. Uh, looking back on it, maybe the red would have looked a little nicer on Zigzagoon as well for the accent colors. But there is a lot more to accent for Lanoon. You have those, those cuffs on its wrists, and then you have the eyes and the tongue. Um, I think it looks really, really good. That green, it's like a deep Kelly green. Uh, Really like it a lot. The green is one that surprised me how good it looked on Lanoon as opposed to Zigzagoon, which is kind of like, I like it, but you know, it's not the best. Uh, this one I think is an actual solid design. Definitely could be something that we see, but we don't really generally see a lot of green, deep green shinies like this. It's generally a lime or a more primary green, uh, but it would be nice to see a change uh, of pace with a, with a green like this. For this silver and gray design on Lanoon, I love it even more than I do on Zigzagoon. I think that the silver on the top of the body looks incredible, and the dark gray on the under part of the body really, really complements it well. Uh, the brown on the wrist cuffs is really a strong design feature, I think. It looks really nice. It looks almost natural. This is something you could actually see in nature, I believe, with the gray. Maybe not the silvery top. It's possible, but a little less likely. And then you see that brown on, on uh, as an accent on the wrist. I think it looks great. I left the eyes and the tongue alone. Actually, I think I lightened them just a little bit if you look at the two side by side. Uh, I think this is a really strong design. Again, I haven't changed any of the whites for Lanoon, Obstagoon, or Zigzagoon. I don't think that they're going to. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really solid design uh, in my opinion. I, I love the color scheme. And this is something that I think is definitely what they would or could do. Um, yeah, I think it looks really great. So for this one, the purple really takes a new life on Lanoon. It sits really differently on top of Lanoon's pattern than it does for Zigzagoon. The purple really comes in this nicer, deeper tone. Uh, and then we have the much darker, near black purple as the underbody. Uh, the yellow on the cuff, the eyes, and the tongue are really nice as an offset to the purple. This is another complementary, just like with the Zigzagoon. But I think it works better on Lanoon. In general, I think the Lanoon Shinies look better than the Zigzagoon Shinies because there's more to do. There's more variation. It's not just like a couple of different colors next to white, even though I do like the Zigzagoon designs as well. And unsurprisingly, if you know me, this is my favorite one again. The bright crimson red on the top with that really deep like crimson tone. Uh, they're really just so nice on this design. Again, the white takes on this almost cream tone. Just when it's sitting next to the red, it's a really interesting visual effect that happens. Didn't change that at all. On top of that, the black cuffs instead of gray look super good. Again, the slightly lightened tongue and eyes, but not really a huge difference. I actually really like the pink eyes and tongue with the red uh, accents on Lanoon and Zigzagoon. Uh, I think this is my favorite still. I love the red and uh, yeah. Show me, it's not a surprise that I do red designs. Red's my favorite color and I really do think this looks the best. So here we have Obstagoon, probably my favorite Pokemon that we've seen revealed in a little while for Sword and Shield. I've really liked almost everything that they've revealed, but Obstagoon is really unique. Like I said in my reaction video to the trailer, it really gives me nostalgic, like Ninja Turtles uh, villain vibes. 
And that just works so well for the Pokemon that the enemy team is probably going to use a lot. Uh, here we have this blue, uh, just like they do on the Zigzagoon. But the real big difference here is I put this very light tan, realistic kind of fur color that you can actually can see uh, Kiss has worn in the past. I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that this Zigzagoon looks like it's a member of Kiss. I think that's definitely what they're going for with the rock and roll aesthetic for Marnie and for the entire Team Yell. Uh, I think this looks really cool. I think that the like realistic kind of fur color with this really deep blue just looks super good. Uh, then you have the orange eyes and tongue again as an offset to the blue. And I really think this design is a really nice one. I think it's something that they could definitely do. Uh, and I'd be really happy to see it too. So for this next one, I just want to say right off the bat, I don't think that they're going to do this one. There's, there's like no chance in my mind at all. Um, I like it a lot actually. And that's why I left it in here. This deep green, I wouldn't even really know what to classify it as. It's like an aquamarine or something around that with this like pink cotton candy uh, offset color. And it's almost a complementary relationship, but not really because pink and green aren't true complementary. Uh, but I just think it looks really nice together. I think it's way too outlandish for a shiny uh, from what we've seen. Although there have been some shinies that, you know, kind of stand out a little bit and... This might be something that could happen, but I really don't think it would. Uh, but I really like it a lot. The pink is so dynamic here. It almost takes over the design. It looks more like a pink design than a green design. But yeah, I think it looks really great. So for this design, I really think it's something that they would do. You have this nice gray with this like brown tan color as an offset. The eyes and, and tongue don't change barely at all. Uh... I just think it looks really good. I think it's something very possible for them to do, and I wouldn't be upset about it as a shiny. It's noticeable enough to where if you saw this, you're like, that's a shiny Obstagoon. Uh, and I think that it just works really well as a final part to this this line with Zigzagoon and Lanoon. Uh, and I think it looks really cool. This is something I wouldn't be upset about seeing at all. So this design, the purple that I chose doesn't really match very well with Zigzagoon's purple, but we see this a lot. In evolution lines uh, even through gen 6 where the colors kind of evolve with the Pokemon they start out either brighter or a little lighter and then go to the opposite direction as they evolve um, I think this is like nearly blue at the top of it very reminiscent of like Zoroark uh, and I just really really like it a lot I think it's a solid color and then you have this like sand color to go with it and this is not a shiny that I think we're gonna see at all but I would really be happy to see it, especially coming up from this bright violet purple that we see with Zigzagoon. I'd be really excited for it. Um, but yet, yeah, it's not my favorite one. And I'm sure you guessed it. This is my favorite one. You have this beautiful ruby red throughout the entire body with this really nice gray. Um, just like on Lanoon and Zigzagoon, I did not change the actual white at all. But I did change the fur color here. I lightened the gray just slightly. I think it looks awesome like this. Uh... It's a lot less dark, so maybe it doesn't really look like the dark type Pokemon that it is. But it's a menacing design of a Pokemon, and this red just looks super cool. This is something that we haven't seen too much of in the past, so this deep red shiny design. Uh, but I really like it, and I think it's something more towards like a hone edge than what you would see normally on like another animal Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, I really like it a lot. I think it's something that just is immediately eye-catching, stands out amazingly. And I really hope that this is a design that is possible, but it does seem a little uh, far-fetched because it, it is just very vibrant and kind of not in the direction that, that Game Freak goes with, but I think it still could work. And last but not least, we have our new Pikachu-style clone Pokemon for Gen 8, um, and that's more Pico. I really like this Pokemon. Uh, it was a little hard to design, actually, because with so many colors going on, you have this dark, like, gray... You have this brown to tan, and then you have this light yellow with the pink cheeks. It was a lot going on, and it was hard to think of cohesive designs for it. But I think I did an okay job, and I, I like this one specifically. You have the yellow that's very Pikachu, with, with the red cheeks that we know very well on Pikachu. Then you have this dark brown, which is kind of towards an Alolan Raichu look. And then it's just muted yellow in the center. I think this design is cool. It's not the most vibrantly changed design in the world, but I do think it's a nice design, and I think it holds together pretty well. So for this design, I don't really have a rhyme or reason for it. I just thought it looked really awesome. You have this light pink on one side of Morpico on the right side of its body, and then this deeper pink on the left side of its body. 
with a lighter mid uh, mid body. The yellow is much lighter here, uh, very faded. The cheeks don't change at all. I don't change the, the stone design on any of them. It is something that could happen. We see that with like Komala or the drum changes, but I don't know how big this little stone that Morpico is holding is gonna be um, as part of its design. But this is something pretty cool that I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do. But you never know, this Pokemon design is pretty crazy to begin with, with its Hangry form. So I'd be interested to see what they do with the shiny. So this is unfortunately a shiny form I really think that they might do. You have just a deeper brown, reminds me a little bit of like Teddy Ursa, and then this dark brown on the other side, on the left side of its body, with a more Pikachu yellow in the center of its body than on the original form. And again, with the red cheeks, kind of a throwback to Pikachu. Uh, I do like this one a lot. It does also kind of represent Alolan Raichu, normal and shiny colors a little bit, but uh, it's not the most outstanding shiny. You don't really see the difference too crazily at the beginning. This might be something that if we have wild shinies like we did in Pokemon Let's Go, that you could miss in the wild. So it is a little worrisome to have something that's so subtle, but even so, I do still like this as a shiny Pokemon. So for some reason, subtlety was really the thing here with Morpico. And the reason why I did this is because I don't think that they're going to give a crazy shiny to both the regular Morpico and then the Hangry uh, Morpico form. I think that you're going to get a subtle shiny with Morpico and then a more vibrant or just kind of different shiny with the Hangry form. So here we just have this light tan color, which is very just hamster looking in general. And then you have more of like a slate gray on the other side of its body. Uh, again, the mid-frame goes down in tone. Uh, it's much more towards white than the original color. And then you actually have the yellow cheeks, which is the color of Pikachu's cheeks when it's using an electric attack. So I thought that was something that could happen for sure. Uh, I do like this design too, but again, this is one that is extremely subtle. It's even worse than the last one as far as subtlety goes. And it's definitely something that I could see just being very difficult to immediately notice as a shiny Pokemon. And here we have Morpico's other form, the Hangry form. Uh, so this is not a different Pokemon. This is the same Pokemon, which transforms into its Hangry form. And basically, uh, this color scheme just screamed Gengar to me right away. So I took the colors from Mega Gengar. I took that white from Shiny Mega Gengar, put it into the center body. And then for the sides of its body, I kept it more of a gray. I think I toned down the gray just a little bit here. And I gave it these yellow cheeks to represent Mega Gengar's third eye. I think it's super cool. On none of the designs did I change the color of Hangry Mode's eyes. I think the red is really imperative to the design. Really gives you the idea of what this Pokemon's all about. For this one, I went nuts. Uh, we have seen similar designs to this in the past. This is not crazy. If you look at Guzzlord, I do think that's a particular case. I don't think you're going to see anything like that really on other Pokemon. Guzzlord is intentionally supposed to have like a pumpkin Halloween vibe, I think. But that's what I wanted with this. Uh, if you call back to Gen 6, we do have a lot of Halloween-ish designs. So you have Trevenant, you have Pumpkaboo. Those have very Halloween designs. Really like those Pokemon a lot. And I thought that this would really complement that idea. You have this like change of form, almost like a costume. Give it a Halloween theme. I love the white where the gray was. I think it's super noticeable and bright. The orange is just such a difference from the purple that, I mean, this is obviously not a shiny you're going to miss in the wild. And then those purple cheeks, they're so unconventional when you think of all of these, uh, like, mouse, rat Pokemon, rodent Pokemon that we've gotten over the years. Uh, but I really like it a lot. I think it looks super cool, and I would be really happy if this was the shiny. So for the next design, this one is a little strange. Um, I don't think this is something that they would do, but at the same time, I kind of do. And what I mean by that is, like, I don't think it looks particularly great. Uh, it is a complementary color. You have the yellow and purple. It just doesn't work that well on this design for some reason, but it is also kind of a call to Pikachu and to the other uh, rodent Pokemon that have been like pseudo mascots over the last couple of generations. So I could see them doing it. Do I like it that much? Not really, but I did think that it's something that they could do. So I wanted to include it as one of the designs. Uh, yeah, but definitely not my favorite one. This last one I think is super cool. Uh, you get the black where the gray was much darker, a little men more menacing looking. So this pink drop down from the purple, 
Um, I really like it actually. I'm kind of surprised by how much I like it. I think that it looks even more menacing with this pink and black than it does with the purple and gray. I think that the purple would just make it look very menacing, very angry. But the pink with the offset of the black just looks so dynamic and dramatic. It just stands out so much. And this is definitely my uh, favorite one out of all the designs. Maybe tied with the Mega Gengar inspired one. But overall, I really do like this Pokemon design. And uh, I think it's definitely something that could happen. Probably a little less likely, but something I would really like to see. In general, with my uh, Hangry Mode designs, I don't really think they're the most plausible designs. Uh, but to be honest, with a Pokemon like this, there's so much that they could do. It's just really hard to predict because this is not really like any other Pokemon we've seen before. It's wildly different than pretty much anything. The color scheme is so strange and the just actual design of the Pokemon is this like meshed mismatch design of a Pokemon. Um, but it's really cool and I'm excited to see what they do with the shiny form here. So that's it for my possible designs for the Pokemon released in the trailer on August 7th of 2019. I'm really excited to see what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know down in the comment section. Like if you liked the video. I'd really appreciate that. This was a crazy amount of work. I didn't know what I was getting into when I started it. I loved it though. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to do more with the Pokemon that I missed in the past and with the Pokemon that will be coming out in future trailers. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you next time.